Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this triangular twisted box inspired by Sam at Pootles. Um, her version was this way. So this was the bottom and this was your um, twisted opening um, to get into whatever goodies you have inside. However, I've changed it and this is actually now the base so it stands up really secure although it does kind of play with your eyes because the way you look at it the black isn't showing it up as well but if I twist it there it's one of those things where you wouldn't think it would hold but it does and then I've added a lid onto the top of mine and inside I've this one's got a mojito in it um, and I've used the yummy in my tummy stamp set mixed with the this paper pack is the playful palette um, which I love really really love this one and I've got stacks of 12 by 12 black card so I thought um, it worked really well together this um, is what was it 250 mil and it holds it um, really really strong shake it around doesn't ruin it I have reinforced the box slightly about halfway down um, so that's obviously helped and then the lid there it's got reinforced sides this is fiddly I'm not gonna lie this is easy to make but the lid is a little bit fiddly I've, I've I can do it fine but it's just finding a way to um, then you know show it in a tutorial for you guys to pick up so you're gonna have to just bear with me on that one but hopefully I will get it across um, and then it just fits on there nicely so Really pleased. So that's that one I done, and then I also done this one with falling in love, um, and this one I'm going to give my mum on Mother's Day. And inside, it has her favourite gin and tonic. So I just thought that was a really nice um, one to do there. This one's bigger as well. So this one is three inches, and then I can't remember the measure of this one. Um, let me just quickly grab a scoreboard. It measures that top bit, it's just over six, and then the three, so it's nine, yeah, nine inches tall. So it's a really, really nice, nice piece. Again, I've said it with a lot of the things that I make. Oh, excuse me, this would look great on um, table centipede, you know, um, as gifts for your guests on the table. Um, you could do them much smaller with um, tiny little miniatures in. And um, I do want to do a slightly bigger one as well, because I've got an idea with that. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how these turn out. Again, with the lid on top there. And they're really super strong. So, let's crack on with what you're going to need. So, I'm doing a birthday one with my Cupcakes and Carousels um, DSP. And then I've used Put Your Party... See it there? Let's zoom in. There okay. Put Your Party Pants on. Um, and that's from an old Celebration Party Pants pants stamp set, this one here, um, and I've already obviously pre-cut and put this all together just to make the video a bit faster, so if you've got your nest of circle dies, then that's what you need for this one, um, if you've got the stitched ones, even better, so that's what I've used here, um, and then I've got it, got it all ready to stick on when we come to that part, so that's that, and then the cardstock, so your main cardstock um, and measures 11 by 12 um, inches, let me just focus back in there, sorry, um, 11 by 12 inches, then you will need three pieces of DSP, this is to decorate, and this measures 5 and 3 quarters by 3 and a quarter, you need a piece for the top, your triangular um, piece of which we'll cut out when we get to it, and that's 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter, and then the actual lid for your um, box is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay, so that's all of the card um, that you're going to need there. So I'm going to crack on and start scoring. So grab your scoreboard and where did I put my. Oh, I've put it down somewhere. Now I can't find it. Hold on, two seconds. Okay, so you are going to be scoring. Just get that all into view there. Right, so scoring along the 11 inch side first, you're going to score at three and a half, seven, and ten and a half. Okay, and what you'll have there is just a half inch tab just to put it all together. 
and then on the 12 inch side you're going to score at three and a half and at nine and a half so this will be your base the three and a half by three and a half here this is one of your side panels and then this is a bit here that we're going to fold in just to reinforce the top of it there just to give it a bit of added strength if you don't want to reinforce it then you can just cut um, that nine and a half away so actually your card will be nine and a half by eleven okay so what we will do is just burnish all of our edges Okay, so now we need to do some um, scoring. Now we've burnished um, without the scoreboard. You just need your ruler. So we're going to be scoring the bottom three and a half by three and a half inch squares because this is going to be this bit here. Okay, so with the tab on the left hand side, you want to score from this bottom left hand corner of the square, not the tab, the square, to the top right hand corner of that square. Okay, so just pop your tool in the corner and get it in place first, then get your ruler and line that up to the bottom. And just score it a few times on a soft surface so you get a really nice score line. You can see there, okay. And then again, do exactly the same in the next square. So the top right down to the bottom left. And again to the last one. Like so. You just hold that up there and you can just make out those three score lines. Okay, so we've just now burnished them slightly. Obviously you don't want to fold the paper right down because um, otherwise it's going to um, get a crease along here and you don't want that. So if you just fold it over at the end there and then bring it up you can lie it down and you can just burnish a nice score line there like so and then again with the next one if you just lie it down and bring it up into that like so you can then again burnish and then that last one you just need to bring up the end one there like so so you should have them all Bring it back like that they're all folded down like so okay so just rotate it so you've got the the smaller rectangles at the top which are going to be your reinforced part and you're just going to cut that tab off at the end like so and then just cut down each of those lines so just cut down that one to that first score line and then again to that first score line you just got this here. Now we're going to be folding these in so you just want to shear off just a little bit from the sides just so you get a bit of a nicer fold when you go to put the um, actual box together. So just taking off just a little bit So while we're at this stage, what we can do is just add some double-sided tape onto these, each of these tabs, just to hold them in place. Get to go. Be too perfect with it. Oh, caught the paper there and that last one. Okay, make sure they're all. And then just take them off. Like so, and then just fold it down. OK, 
Okay, and then once they're down, just grab your bone tool and just burnish the ends again, just so you get a really nice crisp finish, like so. Okay, now turn it over so you've got these three panels here, and we're going to stick down our design. Um, like so, obviously you've got the tab there so you don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to remove my backing. And then you just want to line it up so you've got a border. The measurements of this should give you a nice, about one eighth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, then with whatever the um, sentiment that you've got, you want to put into the middle panel because this is your tab and that's going to go at the back like so and form your triangle. So I'm just going to put mine there. Bear in mind that you're going to have your lid coming down. So I think when I've done it, I worked out it was about an inch and a half from the bottom of that DSP and then you want that to be the bottom of your sentiment. So just roughly there and then I just want to line that up. Out there. there we go. Okay, so that's all that done. Then get some strong red um, tape, sticky back um, double sided tape if you have it, if not any strong glue. And you're basically going to run that right the way down this tab. And you want to do it right up to that score line so you can get a really tight close on it. Like so. I'm going to peel that piece off and then I'm going to go over it again, but this time it's close to the outer. And then fold that over and you just want to bring this up and you want to line it up. Just start from a corner first and get that right up and go up to that score line and stick it down there and then that last end piece. Just try and do it in stages because like I said that tape it's so, so sticky. There we go. You just give it a good pinch. If you want to lie it on the side, just grab your bone tool and just go inside along that seam. And there you've got a really good finish. There we go. And then all you want to do is grab one of the triangles and push it in and kind of pull it towards itself and it will just pop in. There's no other easier way to just, just describe that. It's just literally just grab one of the corners. You can see it pops back out again and just push it in like so. And then that's not going anywhere unless you pull it back out. And then it will stand up. And I promise you it is secure. Really, really strong. And I have a bottle of Pims for this one. I'm surprised I haven't drank any of these. And it sits in there perfectly and it holds it perfectly as well. So that's it done. Now it, the lid is entirely up to you. you. You might want to just keep them like that. If you're having them on a table as a gift, you don't have to put a lid on it. It can just be like a holder or something, just as a nice, a nice piece to have, because it does look good like that anyway. However, now I'm going to attempt to show you the lid. I okay, sorry guys, I made a mistake. And actually you needed four and three fours card by five and a half. Now, I did put a little thing on the video at the beginning, so you, you should be with the right um, piece of card now. So, um, starting again, because I made a boo-boo, 
Um, so with your card on your four and a half, sorry, four and three quarters of an inch side, you're going to score at half an inch and at one inch. Then rotate it so that you've got those two score lines now running along the top, so your five and a half inch side, and you're going to score at seven eighths of an inch just down to that second score line, and at four and a half inches just down to that second score line. Then rotate the card all the way round so you have those two score lines closest to you. Okay, and at two and three quarters. You are going to just notch a, like a dot, so just push the card down just so you can give yourself a little, you can see I've got a little notch there, okay? So get rid of your school ball for the minute. Now from that notch, you want to then do another notch, half an inch into, into the middle. So go, just go in by half an inch and again, just put a little dot there, okay? You can see there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to line that dot up to that corner where those two um, score lines are. And then again that other side, so just roll that one down until it meets that point. And there you see the triangle, so that's the top of the lid. Now what we need to create, these are the reimbursed sides, we need to create those two half inch score lines on here and on here. Now the easiest way I have seemed to have found to do this is you just need to use your school board and line up and so the easiest way to do it is if you start with this one here, so this is the bottom with the two score lines, so you want to just, I'm just using the five inch as my gauge here, you want to just scroll, just score, just kind of bring your score tool down, don't score here and then roughly and you want that line to just lie within that five inch notch. So I know that's within those five inches now. Okay, so hold it in place and then grab your tool and go to four, five and a half, sorry, bring it down and then actually score. So it's just score all the way down at five and a half. And then again, go to six, bring it down and score all the way down. So you just get that there. Okay, and then again, turn it so that this side now, and you want to again lie that within that five inch notch, so just get that one in place there and just make sure you can feel it all the way down that it's in that five inch so I've got my shadow in the way here, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not creating a new score line it's just making sure it's dead straight Use that. Yeah, so that's now in that five inch there. Okay, so then go to your four and a half, bring that down, and then when you get to the card, actually score, and then go to four inches, bring the card and score. And that is what you should have. Okay, so you can see here I've got these straight lines. Again, we need to create them now on all of these. So turn it so again it's on the card. No, sorry, this is this line here is facing, and you want to make sure it's as flat, um, sorry, as straight, like by eye as possible. And again, you want to put your tool here on that corner, and get it into a, a, a notch, and then just score straight up. So you can see that one I've just done there. So you know you've got a straight line. Okay. So again, just making sure that's completely straight. Put that in place and roughly you can see it's in the score line there. So there I have created. So again I'm just going to rotate this side, put my tool in place there and get that in line. There we go. Just making sure I've got this dead straight. And again, you have to make sure it's straight. If it's not straight then you're gonna have crooked. There you go. So you can kind of see the, sh the design that you've got there. All right. And now we can start cutting. So, so this isn't a perfect way, but I literally have looked constantly on YouTube and I can't find anything telling me how to make a lid for a triangle. There's lots of origami folded in bits and pieces, but that doesn't work with this card. So um, 
what we do now is burnish all of our sides. So just let we see. Oh no, actually you can't because we haven't scored all of these lines. So you have to cut it first and then burnish. Okay, so right, this is where I'm going to try again and explain. So where you've scored all the way down to the end of this one here, all right, you want to cut up that score line to that corner and then cut up that one, cut that notch out and then come down here and again cut that out. So it's very similar to the square boxes this bit, so that's your tab. So when we fold that all in, that will bring in our triangle. Okay. Now if you just um, shear off some of the bits there on the top, you want to then go around and cut this whole piece off here, like so. Okay, so that one's going to attach there, right. Then this one's a little bit different, but it's fine. You just cut down to that first score line and cut in there. Now this one doesn't have a score line going down here, that's fine. Just imagine there is and just cut up to that corner in a straight line, like so. And again, cut that bit out. And that will be your tab to go in there. Doesn't matter if it's a bit smaller, as long as you can get a bit of tape on it, it's fine. Again, rotate, cut that bit off. Okay, and then we're going to make another tab here. Go back up and just cut and then cut up that score line there. And then again, imagine there's an imaginary score line here and just cut straight to that one there and then rotate and cut that one out. So that's what you should have. So you can see you've got a weird shaped tab there, you've got one there and you've got one there. I know it doesn't look great and I, I don't know, help me. I am calling out for help. Please don't be negative or write horrible comments. Um, this is the best way that I have been able to do it. So and we're all here to learn and teach one another and inspire one another. So what I would say is just you can cut that tab back a bit and we can cut that one back as well there. So they're kind of similar. And so I notched that one slightly there. Just go around and that outer tab, just notch them off a little bit there just so they fold in because it's a triangle. It does need to, I might need to notch them a bit more. That one needs to come in a bit more. Okay, I think that's okay. So now we can burnish and then we can decorate the top. Right. just burnish my little tabs. I've probably made it harder for myself as well because I've done a reinforced lid. So, but I do like to push myself and always try new things. Okay, so that's the lid coming together there. Then Okay, so now we're going to make the design, add the design. So just with your three and a quarter by three and a quarter, um, piece of cardstock. I've had to change my design. I um, I cut my piece um, accidentally, so it's fine. This is all part of the same cupcakes and carousel set, so it all matches. Um, so just along one of the edges, it doesn't matter which one because they're all the same length. You just want to turn it over actually, and grab a pen, and at one and five eighths of an inch, right on the edge. Okay, so where am I? Four, uh, five, yep, sorry, just there, sorry, counting in my head. Just pop a dot, because that's the centre, okay? And then you want to come down half an inch, so just like we did with the box, so just put a dot there, okay? And then from that dot down to the bottom corner, and again that dot down to the other corner. You're just drawing that triangle like so, okay? And then just cut that out. Okay, and then just gonna add a small amount. I have got so much stuff lying around here, I can't seem to find my thinner tape, but it's fine, I can use this for now. Just going to add some 
It's double sided tape. And then you can add that to the top of your lid. And again, you'll have a nice border with it, about um, one eighth of an inch again. And just pop that into the top there. Okay. And now we can get it all stuck down. Oh, I'll be glad when that's done. So, first of all, just add tape to the outer tab. This is on the inside, so that's the top. This is the inside of it. And again, that on. And that on. And then flip it over. And again, put them on these tabs. Like so. So first of all, you want to stick the tabs down. So just take this off. And then just bring up your two, bring down your two sides until you get a nice corner finish, and just stick that tab down. And you'll know if it's spot on because that would have um, from getting your lines dead straight when we were scoring that way. That's quite key because that's what gives you that perfect triangle there. Okay, so it doesn't come into place at the end. It's just explaining it is really really hard. So that's where I've struggled but I just really wanted to show them with a lid um, so I think if you get a, I do have a compass as well so maybe I might um, try it again with a compass so I can say more of a you need it to be at this angle might help there you go so just again grab your bone tool and just smooth and flatten all those sides and fingers crossed, it fits our box. Yay! And it's a nice, nice tight finish as well. And there you go. Lovely. I really, really like them. I think they look great on the table. Um, just lovely as party gifts. Um, and there's the other one. Put my lid on that one as well. Um, like I said, big, small, they're great. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I explained it. If not, and you know a better way, then please tell me. Um, hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.